it's Amanda, and today I'm doing my December wrap-up. So I read 13 books, but I really only read 12 because I DNF'd one. I have Santa Cruz by Mary and Carol Higgins Clark. This was just a fun story about a cruise where there are kind of bad guys on board, and the woman, it's the woman who's the lottery winner, Elvira Meehan, has to solve the mystery. It was very unrealistic and quirky, but it was also enjoyable. So I gave this one a three out of five stars. Next, I read The Best Friend by R.L. Stein. This is a Fear Street book. I read it because there's a Christmas tree in the background. It does take place around Christmas, but Christmas is not really a big part of the story. This book is kind of like a single white female story where there's this girl that named Honey Perkins who wants to be best friends with another girl named Becca and she basically stalks her and it's really, it was okay. It was, you know, I just don't think Fear Street has the magic it did when I was a teenager, but I enjoyed it and I believe I gave this one a three out of five stars as well. Then I read Scarlet Season by Laura Gordon. I have to admit that I did skim the last couple pages of this book. It was okay, but it was kind of boring, not really that interesting. It was about this woman who is a window dresser at a store and she sees one night while she's in the window, she sees a hit and run and she kind of starts to investigate but then there's someone that doesn't want her to investigate and it goes from there. It was okay. I ended up giving it a two out of five stars. I was surprised by who was behind it all. I was surprised about that, but not the best, not the worst. It was okay. I read this on Christmas Eve, Silent Night by Mary Higgins Clark. I loved this story. I loved it the first time I read it, and I loved it again the second time. It is such a great story. It's about a little boy named Brian whose dad is sick. He's in the hospital in New York City. He's with his mother and brother. Uh, look, like shopping in on the streets and he sees someone take his mom's wallet so he follows her and he ends up in a bad situation kind of goes missing and his mother is panicking she's already dealing with her husband and now her son and it's very short quick read just really really interesting and good. I enjoyed this one a lot. I think I gave this one a four out of five stars. Another one that I read, I believe on Christmas Eve or the day before, was A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I really like this story as well. It's such a neat thing to read the actual story. I've seen so many different movie adaptations of this story and to actually read the original was such a treat. I really liked Scrooge in the story. I thought it was really neat to see his character development. I liked it a lot. I think I gave this one a four out of five stars as well. I read two Sweet Valley Twins books. I read The Magic Christmas and The Christmas Ghost. This one has pretty good ratings for a Sweet Valley book, but it's fantasy and just was not really my cup of tea. It's about, you know, Jessica and Elizabeth get these dolls for Christmas and they come to life and they take them to a new place. And it was just kind of almost like reminded me of the never ending story kind of thing. It was interesting, but just not for me. I'm not a fantasy person. I think I gave this one either two or three stars. And then this is one that is was a reread. I had this when I was a kid, The Christmas Ghost. I really like this one. It's like, it's like The Christmas Carol with the Sweet Valley Twins. I think I gave this one a three out of five. I read a graphic novel this month. This is Bad, New Bad Girl in Town. It's the Serenity series. And this is actually a Christian fiction, Christian manga series for teenagers. And it's got really great graphics. It's actually endorsed by Stan Lee, which I think is pretty cool. It, it was pretty good. I was gonna let my son read it. I think he's still a little young to read it. There's some talk about drugs and sex and things like that, which I think are important for everyone to read, but not when you're 11. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, but I have several other books in this series and I'm going to continue on. Basically, Serenity is bad and she meets these kids who are really nice and try to be friends with her. So, not bad. 
I read The Christmas Key by Kim O'Brien. This was a Goodreads giveaway that I won, and I really enjoyed this. It's a short story about a woman and a man who have recently gotten divorced. They end up in their church together by accident, and they get locked in. And it's Christmas Eve, or the night before Christmas Eve, and they kind of reconcile and have some communication about their issues and actually come to find out a lot of things that they were fighting about were misunderstandings and if they would have just communicated, things would have been better. It was really a nice, sweet story. I enjoyed it a lot. It's a Christian fiction and it was good. It was, I gave it, I think three and a half stars. Not bad. I also read The Christmas Cookie Killer by Olivia J. Washburn. This is a cozy mystery about a woman whose next door neighbor gets murdered and she just decides she needs to solve the crime. Apparently this woman has solved other crimes as part of a series. I don't know how people just stumble upon murders all the time, but she does and it was okay. A little boring, a little dry. I don't know if cozy mysteries are for me. I'm starting to think maybe they're not, but it was okay. I end up giving this, I think, a three out of five stars as well. I also read Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrite. This is about a girl named Amelia who commits suicide by jumping off of her school, or that's what everyone thinks. But her mother gets a text message after she has died saying that she did not jump. So her mother kind of investigates what happened. There's a lot of twists and turns in this book. I've heard it's compared to Gone Girl, and it was similar to Gone Girl, not nearly as good as Gone Girl, but it was enjoyable. It was a little surprising with what happened, but I was able to pretty much piece it together a, a decent amount of the story at the end. I ended up giving this one four out of five stars, but I would recommend it if you like psychological thrillers. This made it to my top 10 of 2014 list, this is The Kingmaker's Daughter by Philippa Gregory. I loved this book. This was such a great story. It's about Anne Neville, whose dad is Warwick, and he is the kingmaker. He put Edward, King Edward on the throne. He becomes a little bit despised by a lot of people, and so Anne kind of suffers for that. But I loved Anne. She was such a sweet girl, very innocent, wanted people to like her, and she had a really rough life. She did eventually become the queen. It was an interesting story. I loved seeing things from her point of view because when you read The White Queen, Elizabeth Woodville makes herself out to be this amazing, wonderful person, but when you read it from Anne's perspective, Elizabeth Woodville was very nasty to Anne. And I understand she wasn't very happy, about the things that Anne's dad had done, but Anne didn't do them. And I just felt like she was a little bit catty in a lot of ways. So I really love this one. This is my favorite of the three that I've read, White Queen, The Red Queen, and this one. Definitely my favorite so far. And then the last book I chose was Nosferatu by Joe Hill. I got this from the Black Friday book outlet sale. And this one had such an amazing story. I really loved the beginning of the story about this girl who can ride across a bridge on her bike and she finds lost things and then there's this kidnapper and it was really good. But I got to this one scene in the book that just was a little bit too offensive for me that I just, it crossed a line that I personally wasn't able to continue reading it and I DNF'd it. Um, it had to do with Christianity, very, very offensive to me. And I know a lot of people can overlook things, and I do. I overlook a lot of stuff because I read a lot of books that aren't Christian fiction. But there are certain times when it goes over what I can tolerate, and this did. So, unfortunately, I didn't finish this one. But I will pass it on to Half Price Books, and maybe someone else can read it. I could see why a lot of people really loved it. I think I would have loved the ending. I, I would have continued on, but I just felt personally I needed to stop reading this one. So sorry, but just not for me. So I DNF this, didn't give it a rating. And that's it. So that was my month of reading in December. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.